Hi everyone, it's Laura. I have been playing around with my makeup trying to come up with some looks that don't use many products. So many articles I read and places where I see eye looks, they use a tremendous amount of products and very expensive products, not things from the drugstore. Things that cost a, a $60 palette, an $80 eyeshadow. I wanted something that all of us could do. So I was playing around with my products I have and uh, today I have a look for you. I think it's great for mature women. It's easy to do. This is something I've practiced last few days trying to see how long it takes me to do. I can do this look really, if I'm not talking on camera, in a couple of minutes. And yet I think it's beautiful. It's sultry. I think it's great for uh, just an evening out or if you want a little more glamorous look. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how I use two drugstore products to create this eye look. The two products I'm going to use, one is from e.l.f. It's $4 at Target. It's this shadow, it's a matte, and it's called Blushing Rose. I love this for opening up the eye and yet giving a little bit of color. Then the other one is the infamous Milani Brow Kit. I can't be without this. This is in the light shade. So you only need these two things for the look that I'm going to do. You don't even need brushes because the brushes I'm going to use are the ones that come with the kit. So let's start first with the e.l.f. product. I'm only going to place that really on the brow bone and all the way up to the brows. I'm going to blend a little bit onto the lid, but I don't want to go too dark with the lid because I have deep set eyes and that makes them look like holes in the back of my head. I'm going to be using the highlighting shade on the lid and I'm going to use the dark shade as my liner on the top of the lid and underneath the eye. So let's start first with the e.l.f. I'm, I've already done my left eye here so you can see how it's going to look. I'm going to put this just right here and like I said out on the side there and then I'm going to blend it down. I'm only going to use my finger for this and I've been using this product for a couple of weeks. There's plenty of time to blend so it works really well with that and I'm just tapping with my ring finger. Now I'm going to go in with the Milani and I actually find that these sponge brushes work beautifully. They tend to give more uh, product and so I'm going to sort of just swipe this on the lid and this is to bring my eyes forward. When you have deep set eyes you don't want to use dark shades on the lid or else your eyes look sunk in and I think this shade looks beautiful on any uh, type of uh, eye and I actually like to go on the inner corner and I forgot to do that on this eye so I'm going to add that just to lighten that area. That area especially as we age tends to get really dark and I'm going to go right under the eyebrow just at the beginning of the eyebrow not all the way through with this uh, highlighter just to give my eye sort of a lift and lift the brow up. I do it on a slant and you'll see I do the eyeliner on a slant too. Now what I'm going to do is take the brush that comes for the brows, which this is great for the brows too, and I'm going to get some product on and start lining my upper lid. And I'm not real careful with it. I am sort of scrubbing into the lashes but then I do want it a little above the lash line, not too far because I don't want to make my eyes look smaller, but I am bringing it up where you can see it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the edge of the eye at a diagonal and make a line like this. And that's going to make the eye look a little more smoky and also lift the eye. So I'm just going in the corner, almost like a triangle laying on the side like this. So that's the shape that I'm doing on the edge of the eye. Now I'm going to go underneath the eye and connect the line too so that the eye looks a little more open. So I'm going close to the lash line but then extending a little beneath it. 
And this brush, since it's so tiny, actually works really good, better than other eye brushes. Now in here, I want to sort of just take the angle and pull it up like that. And then I'm going to connect the two lines. Now if you get a little messy like I did, you can always go back. I go back when I'm all done and take the sponge brush and do the highlighter shade. If I've brought anything up too much, that sort of just takes it away. And then of course Q-tip is great. If you have any mistakes, you can go back with a Q-tip and maybe even a little moisturizer and just sort of clean it up a little bit. Another technique that works great for making bigger lashes is to take a coat of mascara, put a thin coat on, then take some powder, loose powder. I'm going to use this L'Oreal True Match Mineral. I'm trying to use this up. I'm going to dab it on my eyelashes and then go over my lashes again with mascara. Now I'm using the new L'Oreal Voluminous, the uh, Lash Paradise. It looks like the Too Faced um, uh, mascara and it works great. I like the brush. The brush is just like the Too Faced too, where it's got like a skinnier part in the middle and fatter on the edges. I've been using this all week and I really like this product. So I'm going to start first with a very light coat of mascara just to get the lashes coated and then I'll put some uh, powder. I'm not going to do the bottom lashes yet because if I do I'll have mascara everywhere. So I'll let that dry for a second and then I'm just taking an e.l.f. smudge uh, brush. This is one of those dollar brushes but I find it's good for sort of uh, painting on the powder onto the lashes. Looks like I've got it coated pretty good and now I'm going to go back with this. This is my favorite of the L'Oreal mascaras that I've ever tried. I really like it. I love the brush. That's my favorite. And what I like is no spider lashes. The lashes are very fluffy and not clumpy looking at all. So I think it's really a beautiful mascara. And I think I paid about eight or nine, eight dollars and something at Target for it. So. I think they're looking pretty good now. I'm going to let those dry for a second and then I'll do my bottom lashes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my bottom lashes and then we'll take a look at everything. Again, this is only two products from the drugstore. The Milani Brow Kit is great for the brows too, filling in. I like to do the powder first and then go over with pencil to fill in because I have very sparse uh, brows. So I'm just going to go lightly over these lashes, but I think this is a nice eye look for an evening out. It's also great for making your eyes look larger. This is a beautiful shade, this uh, dark shade for a liner. So if you're looking for a soft brown liner that won't look too harsh on mature eyes, it's great. And I don't think you'll find a better highlighter than this. This is incredible. I love the lighter shade for my brows. It's great for filling in, especially the front. As a matter of fact, I didn't use it yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Just filling in this front part. It's a very natural look. You don't want to do too dark of brows at the front. And at my age, mature skin, too dark at the front sort of makes you look angry and ticked off. So I like to do lighter brows and do darker on the tail of the brow. I'm going to put a little bit on the tail just to darken that up a little bit. So from sort of the middle of the brow on, I like to put the darker shade because it um, that tends to fade too as the day goes on. I notice I sort of lose the edge of my brow. So with this powder, it keeps it all together. And I'm on my way to get my bangs cut. I can't wait because they're driving me crazy today, especially trying to do an eye video. But this is the final look. I'm pretty happy with this. This is $4 at Target. This Milani kit, I think when I bought it, it ran around $8 or so. I've had it a couple of years and the, the powders still work perfectly. So I'm just gonna keep using it. They do have it in darker shades. So if you are have darker brows than I do, this is the light kit. 
Uh, but I really would recommend this for everyone because of the highlighting shade. It's absolutely beautiful. But if you have darker skin, you might want a darker shade for the liner part. But inexpensive look, I think it's beautiful for a night out. And how simple is this? So quick and easy. Thanks so much for watching.